I'm Di Tocker of Die Cast Glass and today I'm going to show you how I use fiberglass chop strand mat 600 in my moulds for glass casting. So I use it quite different to a lot of other glass casters in that I use it to make a skin after my first layer on my mould. So I've already put the first layer on this rather intricate looking mould here and I'm now about to apply the skin layer. I've got my fiberglass prepared here which you can see on another video how to prepare it ready and it's all laid out for me to grab easily. I've got my plaster mix mixed up. I don't work with small quantities as it'll set by the time I get halfway through this project. I dip my fiberglass, scrape off the excess and starting at the bottom of my work I wrap it around the piece. Dip scrape it off and I overlap each piece by about a third to half and then move around. Dip and put it on. You want to work reasonably quickly so that your plaster doesn't set too fast and overlapping by a third to a half each time and squeezing any excess plaster out as you go. Remember that what you're trying to create is a skin The reason I do this is with the high heat temperatures with steaming and the drying out process in the kiln of my moulds, I believe that this skin helps to keep my mould, and particularly the first layer, intact really, really well. It's also very, very easy to demould. When you take the layers off, it breaks away down to this first skin layer really well. And this is quite a tricky, intricate mould, so what you need to do is just fold your fibreglass around and squish it into all the gaps overlapping. Use hospital corner techniques and fold it back. And then squeeze it in and squeeze all that mix out as you go. And you just carry on in this fashion all the way along the piece, squeezing out any excess plaster as you go. That's the important part. If you feel like it's a little bit loose or floppy, just pull the, just pull the piece of fiberglass off and have another go. You'll need to poke it through holes like that and stretch it around nice and tight. I'm just going to keep working all the way along this mould until that is complete and then I'll be ready to go on with my thicker layers of the plaster to build up the mould to the finished size. Thanks for watching.